All right, today we continue with the tutorial 3 on 2019 C++ tutorial series. So I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video. If you click on it, then you subscribe and you get notified when I make new lessons. So today we are going to be looking at C++ data types. We are going to look at size of and we are going to look at type dev and the enum types. Before I start doing this, take note that C++ uh, program or lines of code are delimited or they are ended by a semicolon in this way. This that comes before the main program, they are called the preprocessor directive and they are started with the hash symbol and you will not actually have so much to do with them. And finally, you also want to know that C++ uh, always has a main function and it has to return an int and that is why we have a return zero. And finally, double line comment, for instance, if I want to include a double line comment, you start it with a, uh, slash star and then end it with star slash. So every other thing you end time between is ignored by the compiler and because it's a double line comment. So the beginning is slash star and then we have star slash. So, all right, so let's start. By looking at C++ data types, C++ has a number of data types. The most common, which actually is the smallest, is int. So int is simply a 4-byte data type that stores numbers without a small point. So if you say int a is equal to 45, so at this point we are assigning a, a value of 45. So we can actually say C out a. Now, if we run this code, it will display 45 on the output. Let's see. So you can see that it displays 45. Now, we also have other data types. For instance, we have floats. So if we say int b, or if, this, if we say uh, floats b is equal to 45, and I'm going to print out b, and let's run it to see what happens. Take note that floats are numbers with decimal points. So at this point, if I say 45.9.89, and then I could run it, and it displays. But now see what happens if I say, if I declare it an int, and I assign it 45.89, and I go ahead to run it, and you can see that it displays 45. Even if I use a, a different number, 100.98, so if you assign a float value to an int data type, it actually truncates it. So it doesn't uh, draw it up to 101 or to a decimal point, but it simply ignores the decimal place. So that is about float and int. So let's look at another one, and that is string. So let's say string. String is simply what it is, a set of words, or a set of, or more than a set of uh, characters enclosed in double quotes. So, kind of, this is the name of my channel. So, this is a string, and if I say C out, it displays it exactly as it is to the output. So, let's see, if I run it, it displays it to the output. All right, you can see. So what if I declare two strings, string A is equal to, let's say, the name, or I can just say, let me say something like a reminder, subscribe to, all right, so at this point, if I just say C out A plus B, it's going to actually join the two strings together and print them out to the output. So the plus sign, So it says proceed with launch, yes. So we have an error. So the error is that I did not enclose this with semicolon, as you can see. So I'm going to run it again. So at this point, everything works well and it displays and joins the two words together. So the plus sign joins the two words or the two strings together. It's unlike this, uh, the plus in, in, in solving arithmetic operation. Let's now look at characters. Characters are called C C A R. C A R. So characters are enclosed in single quotes. So now let's see what happens when I 
I declare a character and then and let's see what happens. So I'm going to run it. So the best way to learn programming is to see what happens when you do it. So we have an error there and it doesn't work. So let's put a character single a single letter in close is uh, a single letter in close in quote. So I'm going to run it at this point. So this is the character S and it will display only a single S to the output. And the same way you can join two characters together. I'm adding a second S and this point at this point I'm going to say A plus B. So let's go ahead to run it to see what happens. So it actually uh, joins them together but this time there's, uh, it takes the integer values and joins the integer values together. So I will explain this at a different time. All right, so let's now look at the size of. So each data type have a size. So if we say C else, we want to know size of an integer. So we can say size of an integer is and then I want to uh, I want to use the size of operator just say size of and specify int and then I've already explained this in my previous tutorial so it's going to give us the size of an integer and I, I size of an integer is four Byte. So if I run it as a C++ application, it runs perfectly and it's going to display size of an integer is 4. And I can try float. So let's see what size of a float is. So change everything to float. I'm going to run it. So size of a float is 4 as well. So we have another data type, another data type called double. So double is more like a decimal point number, but for of the larger size. So I'm going to run it, let's see. So basically you can call the size of operator, the size of function in any, any uh, data type uh, uh, you, you have. So let's look at type def. Let's take for instance, you want to define your own data, data type. Let's say for instance, you have a car moving from one city to another, and you want to record the speed of these cars between two cities. Each of the in between two cities, you want to record the speed. So you want to declare a data type called speed. So you can simply say speed. You can say int. Uh, let me get seconds. Uh, speed int. Sorry, uh, uh, you say type that. So type def is used to declare, define your own data type. If I'm not mistaken, that should be, okay, the data type comes first in speed. So at this point, we have declared a data type called speed. So let's say the car runs between two cities having acronym OW, so speed, between the city OW to en is equal to 45. So what we are saying is that the distance, the, the speed of this car between two cities is 45. So we are using a data type called speed, which is an int data type. So I can just say speed for the second city en to ab equal to 56. All right, so I hope this is clear. So we use type def to declare our own data type. So if I use CLs, let's see what happens. So you can display en to ab and I'm going to run it and it's going to work. All right, so we have 56. Now, another thing I want to let you know is the enum type. So if you have a set of values that are related or a set of strings or 
some concepts that is related to one to each of each of the uh, one one they are related together. You can use the enum type. An example is going to be something like color. So you can say uh, enum color, and then you specify and so on. So am I missing out anything? Okay, the, uh, the important thing is for you to understand this. So at this point, I've, I've declared an enum type called color. So how does it work? So the first item is have an index of one, more like an array, but not actually an array. So now I can declare a type, an object or a, a data type of color. So for instance, I can say C, I can say color C is equal to blue. So what is the benefit of this? The benefit of this is that you can use color now to be restricted within the colors that you have defined. So for instance, if I say color, D is equal to, and I say something that is not in the list of colors, it's going to throw an error. Green is fine, but let's try color uh, E is equal to in the goal. So at this point, you can see that it throws up an error because indigo is not in the list. So what I can do is to simply come here and add it to the list. So the error goes away. So enum is used to specify a list of items you want to restrict uh, the type to. So we have a color type, this type, and I have C is a, a type of color, and it has to be within this limit that has been defined. So I'm going to stop here for now, we'll see in the tutorial for. Take some time to get your head around uh, the data types, the size of, and also the, in, uh, the type def function, the type def and the enum type. And also there are the data types, for instance, we have the long, we have the, the w car. So you can actually try this out by yourself. I'd like to thank you for viewing and I'd also like to thank you uh, for being there and to remind you to subscribe to my channel so you get notified when I make new lessons. Also, if you have some comments you'd like to let me know, something, some challenge you have, also leave it in the comment box below this video and I'll get back to you.